uh, North Carolina has been pretty active in, in, in the headlines when it comes to player movement. Let's start with uh, some some movement between North Carolina and Angel City FC. Uh, Tyler Lucy uh, moving over to North Carolina Courage uh, in exchange for defender Merritt Mathias to Angel City. Had spent five years with the Courage. And I think with this trade, a little bit of similar energy, which kind of like, okay, so there's there's movement happening with, with North Carolina out of the draft. I mean, they're, they're making an exit from the 2023 draft, having acquired uh, four players in, in, in that draft, uh, but also trading away a very, um, you know, but what, what could have been potentially a cornerstone kind of building piece uh, for yeah. this franchise, but trading Ordonez to Houston dash. Um, and we had talked about, we have given a lot of reaction to that as well. If you're looking for it, please go back and check out the episodes. But um, part of that was uh, that it was such a young player already making a request Right. for a trade and that that was the most curious part about it for for me this is a nice andrew statement that i'm not this is not sourced yeah. or anything like that this is just me sort of just reacting to it then and even reacting to it now and then there, they follow all of that up with this trade for lucy and matthias and now at this point you're looking at a veteran player again a, a player who's been with the courage for a long time has won multiple titles now on the move to to angel city yeah, I and mean, we talked about Diane, Diana Ordonez and that North Carolina letting her go. That's how I'm saying it because they let her go. They should not have. We talked about this when this trade happened. Um, it was right around the draft, the NWSL draft in early January. And we talked about how I, as, as a North Carolina person, a coach, anyone there, would not have let her go. I would have said, you're here to stay forever and ever. After we lose to Vina, <laughs> after everything that happens, you're not leaving us. And they let Diana go. I honestly, I'm being <laughs> very honest right now. But now we see that North Carolina had um, entirely other plans for their 2023 than I could have ever predicted because they send Merritt Mathias, five year veteran with North Carolina, a defender to Angel City FC. So Angel City bulking up their back line uh, because they traded away Tyler Lucy, who is a forward, right? Was drafted out of Princeton as a forward, um, played some time in the Pacific Northwest, and then made her way to Angel City as a forward. And Freya Coom very swiftly decided to convert Tyler Lucy to an outside back and a pretty good one at that. She did a great job in outside back role, but we also didn't see a lot of rotation from Freya Coombe and Angel City. So Lucy really didn't play up front at all for Angel City. So now we see Lucy going to North Carolina. I think she's going to be back in the front line. I, I do, but this was a after this initial trade of just losing, losing Merritt Mathias to Angel City, but then North Carolina continues to go on this um, dominant trading <laughs> spree that they're on right now. And they end up trading away a couple more defenders in Abby Erseg and Carson Pickett. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe Tyler Lucy is going to play along the back line for North Carolina Courage. Uh, that's one thing that I'm really interested to see. Initially, I was like, okay, Lucy's going to become a forward again for Sean Nahas <laughs> in North Carolina. But now after they lose Merritt Mathias, Abby Erseg and Carson Pickett. I'm just not so sure. Well, let's 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 just dive right into that trade because there's again there's a lot of movement and acquisition that North Carolina has has made. So we'll we'll just we'll just dive into that. That's that's the next big trade. I think that everybody really wants to hear us chat about that involves North Carolina Courage again. Recent news uh, between like, the Courage and Racing Louisville FC, a big trade with Emily Fox making her way back to North Carolina, the Tar Heel Nation in exchange for Abby Erseg and Carson Pickett. Um, two defenders for, for one player, I think, is maybe the, the first thing that people are looking yeah. at uh, when you look at the reaction of this uh, trade. The other thing that I'm looking at, too, is the reaction of, of, of players and sort of what they have to say. I mean, we're, we're just talking about uh, Lucy going to, to North Carolina in exchange for – Matthias and, and, and Matthias taking to her Instagram and, and penning what was sort of a bit of a nice farewell to to North Carolina Courage and then the fans there, um, which to me maybe sort of speaks that perhaps that that move was somewhat mutual, at least in, yeah. in terms of the movement. The Matthias is just like, hey, it's it's been a it's been a ride. What a ride. And I'm moving on. Right. And then you've got this trade between it between the Courage and Louisville 
Fox to the Courage, Ursic and Pickett to Louisville. Um, and Abby Ursic, longtime captain of the Courage, uh, also taking to social media as well and uh, saying that she was uh, shocked and disappointed to, to be making an exit from the Courage. So a little bit of different uh, verbiage utilizing in some of these in some of these farewells. Um, and Ursic being pretty vocal that uh, kind of caught her off guard and it wasn't something that uh, was was expected. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the players and the clubs in, involved in this particular trade, um, what does that mean for Racing Louisville to get two players and in, in Ursic and Pickett? Or what does that mean for the courage to to get a player like Fox? Yeah, I think for North Carolina to get a player like like Emily Fox is huge because they've now lost Merritt Mathias, Carson Pickett, and Abby Ursig. So you have to bolster up your back line somehow. Um, I think it's really big for Emily Fox to be, quote, quote unquote, returning home. This is a player that uh, played her years collegiately at North Carolina as a Tar Heel. And, and I think that it's a move that maybe she wanted to see for herself as well. Um, it, it benefits the player in that sense. But the, the name that Emily Fox has made for herself at Racing Louisville is a big one, right? She solidified her spot um, at the U.S. international level playing with the women's national team. This is a, a, a person and a player that has done a lot in just two years in the NWSL, which is really impressive to see how it unfolded. But I think you also really have to look at what North Carolina is losing in all of this. Yes, they gain a, an international defender who's most likely going to be gone for the World Cup, mind you, for two months in, in the summer. But they've also now lost Abby Urseg, Carson Pickett, and Merritt Mathias. Those, uh, Merritt Mathias, Carson Pickett, those are your outside backs that dominated the league last year. They are prolific. They understood how North Carolina was playing. They understood the system. They understood what everything was going to look like. And Abby Urseg, your captain, your namesday in the center back, your New Zealand international that just retired from the international game said she wasn't going to be competing with New Zealand during the 2023 Women's World Cup to focus on her club play. That was her words, not mine. And now you trade her away. And, and Abby Ursig not too happy about this trade from what I could see on her social media posting out there on Instagram saying that um, she was surprised by this trade and she was sad to leave North Carolina, a place that she had made her home over the last several years, a place that she found happiness and found joy and loved playing for the club and for the fans that were there. Um, uh, of course, being a good sport and a, a nice person that she is was like, OK, well, Racing Louisville, I'm excited to get there and I'm excited to see what I can do for you. But this was a big surprise to Abby Ursig. And I think that that hurts a little bit for a club and for a player like that to see that kind of shift happening there. But I'm, I'm really curious to see what, what's going to come of North Carolina this year, what is going to be about them, right? They still got Caroline. Um, they, they've got some other players. They also re-signed defender Ryan Williams in the midst of all of this three years through 2025. So they're, they are, they keeping some of their defenders and I mean, getting Emily Fox is huge for them, but I think racing Louisville wins in this trade a little bit, but in, in getting Carson Pickett and Abby Ursig, I think that's a big get for them to, yes, yeah. you lose one big defender, but you gain two. I, I hear you on that. I think for me, I think for me, there's a little bit of like TBD on this oh, yeah. uh, in terms of like a grade uh, overall. I, I think, Honestly, I, I think if it was a if it was a fox or a picket, I think even that's pretty even um, in yeah. terms like if you're looking at a player, I agree. That you're going to be that you're going to slot in positionally and what that's going to look like. Um, I mean, we're talking about Carson Pickett had such a great, uh, I'll just say like tenure with with North Carolina Courage. Not even I, I was going to say just like last season, but she had a great couple of seasons with this team. Um, but just coming off of last season, I mean, like an assist leader, like within the league, um, someone who can really just sort of set up teammates um, and, and, and get involved in the attack and, and cover a lot of ground when, when you need her to. And I think you can sort of echo that sentiment with a player like, like Fox. I agree. Right? Um, 
I agree. That's but, why to me, Racing Louisville won this because they they got, they got a like, extra player like, in Carson Pickett, and then they <laughs> end up getting a veteran center back to shore up their back line with what they've got, and they I, also got Paige Monahan in this offseason. Yeah, coming out of the coming out of the draft, yeah, and trading with yes. with got them. I think, uh, I think, yeah. In terms of in terms of the two, like, there's look, there's clubs in this league that are clearly in the process of of rebuilds, right? And I think you can look at the two teams involved in this trade and say, like, those are two of those clubs. Um, and I'm just a little curious about. Uh, I, I think like the TBD for me is also like, you know, how like where is is Emily Fox going to fit in for for 2023? Again, this is a player yep. increasingly involved in the pool of players for the United States Women's National Team. Are, is there a possibility that we don't see Emily Fox get as much time in 2023 with the courage as, as maybe, you know, they're, they're anticipating or is there, like, what does that contract look like with her time in, in North Carolina versus a picket and an Ursag with racing Louisville? So I think the number of moves that they've been involved with have sort of signaled that. I mean, we saw even just in last off season, um, sort of the exodus from this club and, you know, players mm-hmm. like a Sam Lewis or Lynn Williams or yeah. Jess McDonald, right. And how that has now trickled over into a second consecutive off season. And now you can go down a list of players who are now absent from, from this team and whether it's an Ursig or a Pickett or a Matthias or a Dabinia that they lost in free agency. Um, so in terms of like players who have been around for some yeah. time and, and, and can continue to, to be that kind of veteran piece for the team. You're sort of looking around and saying like, well, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Denise O'Sullivan? Again, this is another player who's that is likely also, going to be absent yeah. in 2023 yeah. for the world cup with Ireland. Yes. So I think, I think if you're North Carolina, there's a potential for one of your uh, pitches to players or selling points to players is, is that this is a place where you can come in and compete and, and potentially, uh, win a uh, starting role with this team, uh, but you got to get in here and, 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 and compete for it. So um, yeah, lots of movement, lots of movement. If you're North Carolina yeah. courage players coming in, coming out, um, touching about touching how they signed Danish forward, uh, Miguel Jensen to a two year contract through 2024. So a, a forward there, yep. I think with this recent trade, maybe we will see Tyler Lucy yep, utilized forward. in, 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 in the back in the back line 